Hello and welcome to MBTV's Property Pundits. I'm your host Deepshikha Yadav and as promised, I'm back with the second part of how to improve air quality in your home. And in this video, we will be discussing air purifiers. But before we proceed, let me remind you to subscribe to our channel MBTV and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Let us first know when and why we need an air purifier. The first and basic reason to have an air purifier is the bad air quality index. Now the air quality index is typically measured on a scale of 0 to 500. 0 to 50 is an acceptable number. 51 to 100 is moderately acceptable and anything beyond 100 is not acceptable. So you can check the air quality index of your area and if it exceeds 100, you need to buy an air purifier. The next reason you do need an air purifier is if you stay close to an area which has high density traffic. Now, you might be staying in a city where the air quality index is not so bad. But in that city, you might be staying in an area where the traffic density is really high. Because of this high density of traffic, nitrogen and carbon monoxide can stay for long periods of time in an enclosed space. An air purifier is useful to purify that air. The third reason you might need an air purifier if you have smog in your area. Soot and smoke present in smog can be captured by an air purifier. And the last reason is if you have pets at home. Pets shed skin and hair which can lead to runny nose, sneezing and other types of allergies in some people. So if that is the case, then you might need an air purifier. Now that you have an idea whether you need an air purifier or not, let's see in what conditions air purifiers don't work. It's important to know that air purifiers cannot get rid of all impurities or all pollutants in the air. Yes, it does reduce the amount of pollutants in an enclosed space, but whether an air purifier works or not in your house depends on the size of the particles in your house. I would like to mention an important point here that most air purifiers can get rid of dust, soot, smoke, pollen and mold, but they cannot get rid of odors, like the odors of pets, smoke or paints. For that, you need to buy an air purifier which has an activated carbon filter as well. Another point to be kept in mind is that air purifiers primarily work in enclosed spaces. So if you predominantly keep your doors and windows open even at night, then the efficiency of the air purifier will be slower or almost negligible. Well, in some of these cases, you definitely do need an air purifier. But there are some basic practices that you might want to follow to minimize the amount of dust in the air within your house. The first is you should always try to choose vacuuming over dusting or brooming because when you dust and broom, the dust just resettles from one surface to another and it also spreads in the air. You should plan to vacuum surfaces like doormats, mattresses and sofas at least once in two weeks. This helps to minimize the amount of dust in your house. Lack of ventilation has increased the demand for air purifiers. So keeping your area well ventilated with cross ventilation helps with making sure that the air quality within your house is good. Next is to make sure that you use the exhaust in your kitchen and bathroom whenever it is required to make sure that the pollutants don't stay within the house. Minimize smoking and lighting candles inside your house because it adds to the pollutants in the air. While using incense sticks in the house, make sure that area is well ventilated. 
Lastly, wash your linens often and make sure to use a bed cover over your bed sheet so that the dust on your bed sheet is minimized. That's all for now. If you found this video helpful and informative, do like and share it. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to MBTV and hit the bell icon for notifications.